honestly, Paul, have you noticed now people like the New York Times or New York Magazine, now they are doing their best of podcasts lists. And they're all these highfalutin. Yes. These like, you know, they all have to be educational. Exactly. You're not going to learn anything listening it's to It's a this bunch show. of NPR horse shit. Horse shit. They all ex- sound exactly the same. Yes. With their measured voices and they don't like to raise their voices above a whisper. But I wasn't satisfied. What he said didn't make sense. So I had to go back and ask somebody else. <laughs> Like that's my least favorite type of Yeah, the one host. where they sort of have a question mark at the end yeah, of every— they have like a mystery that they're trying to solve. I wasn't satisfied. I had to answer more questions. So I went back and I asked questions. But why would he be there And at that time? <laughs> and how come he wasn't able to say why he didn't do this right? Now, Paul, you— <laughs> There are, of course, people who are imitating the way that we do this show, I'm sure, just like, constant yelling, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's most, that's most podcasts. That's most podcasts, yes. is, con- is people constantly, constantly yelling, yelling, yelling yeah. to be heard. That's what you're going to get with this. There's nothing educational <laughs> about our show. It's, it's a bunch of fucking flim-flam and yeah. bullshit, but it, at least it's going to pass the time and it'll be fun for you. Is that, is, that's a good way to think of, of this show, right? Imagine if this podcast were in a box. That would be on the back of the box. Right. Yeah, look, it's a bunch of flim flam. And bullshit. A bunch of bullshit. But at least it passes the time. <laughs> and a lot of it, according to Neil Patrick Harris. That's right.